I'm Terry Kolath. I'm here with musicologist Dr. Thomas Chimarusti, and he is coming back again for the fall semester to do three lectures for us. We're here to talk about the first one, and it is Masterpieces in Western Music, Session 1, and we're talking about Mozart. Mozart. Thanks for joining you me, Tom. You bet. You bet. This is um, something that we asked you to continue on. You yes. had done a Masterpiece in Western Music session last semester. And um, to start off, tell us a little bit about what is a masterpiece in Western music? What, what makes it a masterpiece? Well, that's one of the questions we want to address in the course. Oh, right. So I don't know if I want to give away <laughs> all of it, but I will say that uh, you know we recognize these masters, uh, Mozart and Beethoven and Stravinsky, as some of the greatest composers who have ever lived. But very few of us understand, I think, you know, what is it that went into these pieces and why they're considered masterpieces? Because clearly there are many composers before Mozart that were writing music right. that, uh, that we don't have to listen to on the radio or get performed in the concert hall. So we're going to talk about why Mozart? What makes his music so great? Well, let's start just a little snippet if you're sure. not giving things away. Sure. Um, what does make Mozart so great? I mean, we all, Mozart's name comes to mind when we think of classical music. Sure. Uh, he was incredibly innovative. And we can just speak particularly of his operas, that he did things in operas that we didn't see with composers prior to him, and he mastered it. So what we see here... In one lifetime. In one lifetime, yeah. And, of course, in a very short lifetime. He only yeah. lived to be 35 years old. Gosh, that's and so, incredible. Yeah, incredible, incredible genius. Genius. That's part of, partly the characteristic we're looking for and trying to understand when you, when you tell us more about a masterpiece. I think so. What's going on in the composer's head? Yeah. And that's what us musicologists get to do for a living. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> and we know that you have a passion for it. I love, love it. it. I do love it. And so we are the beneficiaries of that. Uh, what can we expect? Piano, concerto, and D minor. You've chosen that one. I did, chose that. I did choose that one. Mozart wrote a number of piano concerti, and I chose this one in particular because it is in a minor key, which means it's going to sound a little more dark, uh, a little more mysterious perhaps. And it's one of his classic piano concertos. So for those of uh, you know, for those that want to partake in listening to the piece, the first movement we'll start with um, that would be great. You'll probably come out a little bit better in the end if you have listened to it first before we actually discuss it. Good. Well, you know, he teaches at the Bauer School of Music at FGCU. So in our Academy of Lifelong Learning, we would do well to take the instructor's advice and be a little bit prepared <laughs> if you signed up for this class. If you don't have time, you're going to love it anyway. I hope you can be there with Dr. Chimarusti. It is September 10th, Masterpieces, and we're talking about Mozart. 